She back. She kicked me out, y'all. <laughs> she said this girl is, is moving desks around. <laughs> she moving desks around and stuff. No, I didn't get it. You didn't put it on a whole. They got a whole new situation going on for you. <laughs> Oh, Tim, when can I come and get the recordings? No, no. never? Never. <laughs> I'm emailing no, I, AJ today. I got, I got two sets of recordings. One goes to Miss Latrice at the end. I'm going to need to, you know, we'll just need to meet briefly. And uh, I'll find a way to get it to where you can just be emailed. So just okay. text me your email because I'm putting it on my main computer at home. Okay. So I'll get this. I'll uh, get your number from uh, Latrice. Yep. Cell phones on mute, people? Yes. Miss Tiffany? Yes, you know, I keep, you know. Oh, I know. You I had good phone etiquette. He didn't have not do. one issue. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> no issues out of me. I'll tell you. You guys leave the house and what they do take over. Take over. And then they're going to churn. <laughs> and then what they do is they um they kill the they kill the house owner, right? The own the person that owns <laughs> they just stomp them out, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. As I, um uh last week I thought I was telling Tiffany I thought it was um um her her not really her worst show, but it was just I thought it was not the best show that I had listened to. And um it was just because of the call in. You know that his his um, audio it was terrible because you could hear a lot of his background and she said he was driving so yeah and I've done that before it's hard I worked on that show last night mm -hmm. I took out the background noise mm. and all his long spaces of talking yeah you edited I shortened it mm -hmm. I've got a setting that all I have to do is I hit delete silences and it'll take out everything to literally half a second of silence and it compresses. Mm. So it makes my job a lot easier and it sounds really good. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, but at the same time, if we're going to have guests come from out of town, probably the best thing to do, have them, just have, Leave them call, early. have them call in or Zoom. Okay. You know. We used to do it with Skype. That way that you could Skype. still yeah, that's have the phone still lines still open. The phone lines are open. Yeah, like that. that's fine. But, but yeah, just going forth. You know, some people will procrastinate and they'll tell you, oh, yeah, I'm getting the elevator and they're really didn't get it. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and then they fail to realize we're not going to push the show back 40 minutes yeah. because <laughs> like, there's other programming that and part. just wasting your time coming in from each time. I remember when I had, I was in traffic and I had to start my show in the car. It was horrible. It was just a horrible incident. My desk was here and I was still in the car. Yeah. So That's why I need. My people here at nine o'clock. Yeah. What time did I used to be here? I was in this oh. thing at nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tell you, this your first show. Yeah. She was here at eight forty-five. I think. No. Eight thirty. No, no, she was here actually at eight. Oh. Because I thought I was supposed to be here at eight thirty. Because I told her I'll be here at eight thirty, but you'll be here at nine. No, she she came in at eight o'clock. Then she looked at me and was talking about you late. I was like, I told you I was going to be here at eight o'clock. I didn't like. I didn't tell you to come in at eight. I was ready. I got. I had to be in the setting, so and I, I was like, look at the calendar. Me. It says eight thirty, me nine o'clock, Farmer Nancy. Boom. You ready? Okay. Minute thirty. Hey, good morning. I see you. Miss Latrice, one other thing. Yeah. When you say good morning, don't scream it. Don't scream it. Don't scream it. Because I have to bring you super well, bring down, down at the beginning. Because I'm, I'm I use my mic. She got you know, energy. You, you, yeah. you don't use your mic, you abuse your mic. What? <laughs> Gotta be nice to the mic. <laughs> You know what? I got a whole month of picking on you. It's my party. I could cry if I want to. Hey, hey I'm, a, I, I'm a month overdue on picking on you. That's, so, that's okay. So you know I'm gonna pick that's on okay. you. Right? That's okay. Hey, hey, I'm the one who writes the check, so you, you know you, you pick on me. You pick on me. You know. 
You pick on me and see if that check is rough. <laughs> I love you. I really love you because, yeah, yeah. 30 seconds. Stand by. You ready to shine? I'm ready to shine. You ready to shine? Yeah. This is, you know, this is where you shine the best, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about all of that. I shine in a lot of different ways. I don't know if it's in radio or not. Stand by for your five count. <laughs> KAZI listening audience, you are tuned in this morning to the Iron Sharpens Iron Show, and I am your host, Latrice Cook, excited to be back in the studios, on the mic, putting some flavor in your ear. Beautiful Thursday morning, could not be more excited about just breathing today, being here to give you some information, some ideology, and just some flavor in your ear. I just have to give a big shout out, first of all, to all those people who continue to support the work of Melge Center, the work that we do for those persons that have previously been incarcerated in their families. Thank you so much for just the years of just trust and giving us the opportunity to work for you and on your behalf. And then to the people who support this radio show, Iron Sharpens Iron and KAZI, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I see you on here, Chaz Moore. Yeah, this is KAZI. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning to you, Eric Tab. Thank you all for sitting in and listening. Um, I have to say um, to the lady that is sitting to my, I don't know my left or my right, but to the right of me, I guess. Um, first of all, the young lady who um, I, is, is literally family. I just want to say to you um, this morning, you all know her as Farmer Nancy, and I just call her Tiff, Tiffany Washington. Thank you so much for sitting in the reins, um, actually on my behalf and on behalf of the Iron Sharpens Iron Show and the people that we serve. Thank you for being a wonderful co-host, um, totally dependable in um, bringing information that um, our listeners needed, so much so that uh, we think that Tiffany is going to have our own space sooner than later. And I think my trade just went off. So Tiffany Washington, Farmer Nancy is in here in the studio right Thank now. You. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Hey, y'all. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you guys to have a great and amazing morning today on this Thursday morning. And I want to just say thank you so much, Latrice, for giving me the opportunity and the space to share my voice with the community. And I look forward to, to continue doing the work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. And actually I am, my, my hope is that in the uh, upcoming months as I have to move around and, and we have a in-house person that Tiffany will always be the one that sits in um, this space in addition to what our staff. So thank you so much again for everything. You're welcome. And we are going to have a conversation about the city of Austin, the Travis County, and all the organizations and stuff. That's to come. And so we just we just encourage you to continue to listen to us. So good morning. Good morning, you guys. So we are going to um, keep moving right along. And we have a whole conversation this morning because I really want to delve into the situation about housing the people that are um, all right chum that's a wrap on my iron sharp and iron thursdays but you know i'll be back i gotta get that proposal to aj later this afternoon 
and um, we'll be back here on the station. It is what it is. What? Two eight eight seven is a calling number. We outside. Six two eight eight seven is our calling number. Please um have no um no fear.